She's an author, a speaker, and a trauma professional organizer. She's written a new book. It's called Put That Stuff Down. Let's say hello to Valerie Loud joining us on the program. Uh, nice to have you here. And now, can I ask you, how many people uh, have the title of a, as a, your trauma professional organizer? I've never heard that before. I'm the only one. The only one? Yeah, because professional organizer, there's a lot of association, but I really specialize for people that suffer from trauma. Mm -hmm. Okay, your company as well is called Do Well. So tell us a bit about your company. Do Well is Declutter and Organize Well. And it's, it is all about coaching online or in person uh, for the people about what to do with their stuff and how to feel better. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, continue. Tell us a bit more about Duel. Just recap. So Duel is a company for declutter and organize well and doing well at the same time. So I go coaching online or in person for the people that suffer from trauma. Very important stuff. Now, I didn't know that... Uh, that uh, PTSD. Uh, PTSD means post-traumatic stress yes, disorder. Yes, of course. But there's a lot of people suffering from trauma that do not necessarily have the diagnosis of PTSD because it is really specific criteria from the DSM. But some people can still have nightmare and flashback and not being diagnosed. They are still suffering. And in that position, there are some studies that says that when somebody suffers from a trauma, they have a tendency to hold on to stuff. Hmm. So that brings them closer to some people that could hoard. Okay. Now, can I ask you, why, why does it make people want to hold on to their stuff? Because it affects the frontal lobe when you have a trauma. Okay. So it's chemical, it's in the brain. And the other reason is people buy more stuff. Because when they buy more, st when they buy something, there's a rush of endorphin and hormones mm -hmm. that they feel good. Yeah. So then, feeling good, they want to acquire more stuff. But arriving at home, that increases the level of clutter, so it increases the level of cortisol. When it's increasing the cortisol, they feel worse. Mm -hmm. They have more nightmare, more flashback. So they go back to buy something. So they are in a vicious cycle that we need to help them getting out of there. Okay, so it, it makes things worse. And what, yeah, a vicious cycle, because you go out and you buy things, you feel good for a moment or two, but then your house is all cluttered. So, so what exactly do you do to, to fight this, to make it better? So I start working on the mindset. So really decide to have goals with them, but these goals need to be really small step at a time. And the other thing is when I declutter with them, I ask them to wear some gloves because the, when you want to hold something in your hand, there's a contact with the limbic system of your brain and you want to keep that things. It's the moment where you remember, oh, it's that person who gave it to me. So with gloves, people declutter 50 to 75% more. Wow, that's fascinating. I had no idea. Okay, so, so what is the first step then? Because you said you start in small steps. So is, is it the gloves? Is that the first step? No, the first step is to take the decision that you want to declutter mm -hmm. and why you want to declutter. Okay. You need to have a big why. Okay. Otherwise, you will stop and clutter again. Okay, so you obviously meet with people. Uh, yes. And, and have you seen uh, very terrible instances of uh, people that have just, they got to throw this stuff out? Yeah, there's a... There's Bob that I met a couple of years ago that I arrived to his apartment and I knock at the door and no answer. I knock again and the door opened by approximately 12 inch. So I was worried if he was afraid from me when I smelled that garbage smell getting out of that apartment. It was because the door wasn't able to open more than that. Mm -hmm. But today with my technique, Bob is still in his apartment and living well. Okay. So how big of a problem is this that you've noticed? A huge one. Yeah. It's really more, people don't need to be at a point of being hoarder to have, have the needs of declutter their space and feeling better. Okay, so obviously you've met with a lot of people, helped out a lot of people, and you see people have come back to life, so yes. to speak. Feel a lot better. Okay, so obviously uh, you meet with people now throughout the whole city? Through the whole city, I also have clients in the States. You do? That I do with Zoom or FaceTime, and I help them. Okay, and uh, I've noticed as well that this program, uh, the quote is that it gives people peace of mind. Yes, that's my Declutter Your Mind program. It's a program that I launched in January, so in a couple uh, days. And it's really about deciding to take the decision of decluttering and how it can impact your mental health. Okay, and it's just so important to take small, small steps, correct? Yes. Yeah, feel better. Uh, Valerie, thank you very much for this. The new book, here you go. It's called Put That Stuff Down. And we appreciate your time here today, Daytime Ottawa, as always, on Rogers TV. I'm Dylan Black.